And your first alert forecast here. Tomorrow, just during the day, I think it's just an ordinary rain here. Nothing special about it. But tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, that's when the rain intensity ramps up. That's when the winds kick into gear. And that's when we could have some issues on the roadways here. Luckily, it's during the middle of the night. But I think some of those effects could linger into the Monday morning commute. So that's why we have these flagged as alert days. Again, during the day tomorrow, you can get around just fine. 57 degrees, the high temperature. It'll be raining, no doubt about it. And it'll be breezy, but not the worst of weather. The worst of weather, I think, tomorrow was after about 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening all the way through about 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning on Monday in terms of the rain and wind and then just gusty winds howling all day Monday. One of those days where you probably hear the windows rattling and stuff like this. 55 degrees, 42 on Tuesday, so a shot of colder air. I removed the snow shower threat for Tuesday. Just doesn't look like it's going to pan out here. Western Maryland, a different story out in Garrett County. Winter storm watch for 6 to 12 inches of snow. Tuesday, sunshine and Wednesday, sunshine. So after this storm, we're going to clear things out very nicely. So taking a look at our timeline for Sunday during the morning hours, there could be a couple showers that work their way in toward lunchtime, but I think most of the morning is just cloudy, cool, a little on the breezy side. Lunchtime, I think that's when a lot of the area starts to turn damp here. Uh, some scattered showers start to break out. That's when road conditions start to slow down. And the afternoon, if you can just hang out at home, it's great. But if you need to be out, just know that traffic's going to be heavy. Roads will be damp. Not the worst of weather, but not the best of weather either. Showers developing from south to north. And then really the evening and nighttime hours. That's what I'm flagging. Similar to last Sunday night, we're looking at a heavy soaking rain. This time it won't be changing over to snow, but it will be kicked around by winds gusting 30, 40, 45 miles per hour and some urban and coastal flooding certainly possible. Where is the storm? Well, we can easily follow it tonight here. It's already formed. It's off the coast of uh, Florida here in the Gulf of Mexico. This area low pressure will be moving off to the north. You can see in the latest frame here, moving off to the north and intensifying. And this storm system will go all the way from Florida up to Canada here uh, via I-95. And we are in its path here in terms of rain and wind not snow. So taking a look at our future radar, as you can see by two o'clock in the afternoon, rain filling in southern Maryland through central Virginia up by 95. It comes. You can see the bright colors really flaring up here later Sunday evening. This is six o'clock. We're still in the light rain, but breezy. Look what happens though between six and nine o'clock there. That round of heavier rain indicated by the reds, the oranges. That's some really stormy weather here. You see the arrows coming in uh, from the ocean. That is winds gusting 30, 40, maybe 45 miles per hour, especially these eastern shore communities on the eastern side of the low. On the back side of the low, the wind's not as strong just yet. But give it time. As this moves off to the north, by 6 a.m. Monday, the rain tapering off, but the wind really kicking the kicking into gear. So I think uh, Monday morning is going to be pretty rough here. Two hands on the steering wheel. Make sure the kids are dressed for the chill. In terms of rainfall totals, I think a lot of three, maybe three and a half inch amounts. Lesser amounts will be around two, two and a half inches. So with that, Small stream and urban flooding, your biggest culprit here. I don't think we're going to see widespread river flooding here, but it will be a challenge here at times, especially in those poor drainage spots. Our computer models really agree about two and a half to maybe three inches of rain out of this storm system. And winds, I think, are strongest eastern shore communities and out toward the mountains, higher elevations here on uh, Sunday night and into Monday morning. Round two, Monday morning, I think everybody gets in on the wind. We're talking about winds gusting. 40, 45 miles per hour. So here's your seven day forecast. A little bit bumpy here to start it out, but as you can see, things quiet down here Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Kelsey.